peace and love ladies this is love also known as the self-love guru and i am your confidence coach and today i want to talk to you ladies about adaptability so there are so many misconceptions when it comes to being a feminine woman they talk about how you have to be passive and you have to be subservient to your man and you don't have a voice and how women aren't happy and let's face it this is not the 50s right this is not the 20th century where women did not have a voice couldn't work and things of that nature however being feminine and also being adaptable have nothing to do with kissing someone's behind nothing whatsoever as a matter of fact a feminine woman is characterized by her tact her ability to get things done that she needs or to manipulate or structure situations that benefit her and her family Right, So we've seen countless examples of feminine women in business and how they so easily can snap their fingers or wink their eyes and get things done. And so adaptability is about the manner in which you go about doing things. So prime example, if you and your husband have a disagreement, and there's company around. You don't go back and forth with your man in front of company. You can whisper or you can smile, baby. We'll talk about that later, okay? Give him a kiss on the cheek, graze his print. Do whatever works for your man, but get him to shut up. Don't argue. Don't bicker about it. Don't make him look bad. Don't try to emasculate him to prove your dominance over the situation or to prove, yeah, I don't let my man talk to me any kind of way. Because that ego battle does absolutely nothing. And there are some men who will stop at nothing to show that they are the man of the house. You don't want that kind of energy in your relationship. Choose your battles. In addition to it, adaptability does not mean to conform. To be adaptable has to do with how you are able to respond to your environment. So let me look up the textbook definition because y'all know I love definitions and I love to pull out the dictionary on a person because I'm a scholar and that's what we do. So adaptability, definition, the quality of being able to adjust to new conditions. The capacity to be modified for a new use or purpose. So you're not changing who you are. You're just adjusting to the circumstances. If you were at work and you had a supervisor who you knew, when they walk in, they have to have their coffee. Are you going to speak with them about a project as soon as they walk in the door? before that cup of coffee? Absolutely not. If you say yes, just click the red X on my video and get off because your mindset is not where I needed to be to receive this kind of information. You will adapt. You look at the situation and you say, yes, there is something very important I need to speak with my supervisor about, but I know she comes in at nine o'clock typically finishes her coffee around 9.45. She should be ready by 10 a.m. You know what I would do? I would draft an email, proofread it for errors, and schedule send for 10 a.m. And then it's off. Now, 
You can schedule your conversation if it needs to be a talk or if it can be in the form of an email, you have it set to where it will be sent once that person gets what they need to get done. And guesstimating about that 9.45 time gives them a buffer of 15 minutes so that just in case something went wrong when they went to the Keurig today, just in case their favorite creamer wasn't there and they had to make some modifications, now you have that extra 15 minute buffer to handle your business, right? That's adaptability. Now to conform. Those are very different. Conformity definition. Compliance with standards, rules, or laws. Adherence to. Accordance with. This is horrible. Similarity in form or type or agreement in character. A sentence. These changes are intended to ensure conformity between all schemes. I don't want to conform, but I do want to adapt. So it's not me not being the lady that I am. It's not me not being assertive or being passive. It's not that. It's just I'm adjusting to the situation at hand. I know when to address this with my man or with my supervisor, right? So start thinking about it that way. You're not losing yourself by maintaining control or abstaining from arguing and starting BS about things that really do not matter in the grand scheme of things. And this is why I talk to you ladies so much about knowing what you want. Because when you don't know what you want, you nitpick at the smallest things. Oh, well, I don't like how he walks. Oh, well, he walks on his tippy toes. Oh, well, I don't like that cologne he wears. It's like, well, is he a nice person? Is he respectful? Is he generous? Does he have the ability to provide for you? Does he want a family? Is he close to his family members? What is his mental health like? Why do you want to argue with him in front of his friends? What does that do for you? See, some of you have some real issues, and I know because when you get on the phone with me, I've had people who they try to argue with me about things that I'm saying, and I'm not going to argue. If you disagree and you think that you know more than I do on the subject, then why are you paying to talk to me? What do you want? Are you looking for conversation? Weirdo behavior to me, but these are the things that are out here. So I'll wrap this up by saying, don't be a weirdo, okay? Adapt to your surroundings. Do not conform. Understand that being in a relationship with a masculine man is not an assassination to who you are as a woman or your character. If you feel like you're truly losing yourself, maybe reevaluate the type of man that you really want. You may not need to be with a man who has those masculine characteristics and desires to be a leader. You may need a man who can follow you and that's okay, but be real with yourself and stop trying to change the masculine men into more feminine men and change the feminine men into masculine men. You're hustling backwards, which means you're wasting your time. Be adaptable, be smart, learn when to say things, learn when to do things, utilize that feminine tactfulness that I know you have deep on the inside of you. I hope this video helps. If you made it to the end, please drop a red heart in the comments and check that description box for everything new this week. Peace and love.